Kane Wasselinchuk is considered to be the greatest racquetball player ever. After sitting out the last two years, the 13-time U.S. Open champ returned to Sioux Falls to compete in the 41st Lewis Drug Pro-Am. Wasselinchuk advanced to Sunday's finals, where he squared off with Daniel De La Rosa for the individual championship. Opening game, De La Rosa scores a point with a wicked backhand blast, giving him the early 3-2 lead. After Kane had regained the serve, De La Rosa comes back with the return, but Wasselinchuk hammers a forehand winner that gets by De La Rosa for the point, tying the game at three. From there, Wasselinchuk took control of the set, serving for game point. After the two exchange a couple volleys, Kane finishes off the game with a slicing shot, so he takes the first game 15-4. Head to the second, Wasselinchuk dominated from start to finish. After Daniel returns the serve, Kane drills another forehand winner. Wasselinchuk takes game two 15 to two, winning the individual title two nothing over Daniel De La Rosa. After missing the last two Lewis Drug programs, Wasselinchuk says it felt good to get back to play in his close friend Mark Griffin's tournament. But it's good to be back, and uh, you know, he made a joke last night. He said, you know, Maybe you'll get your title back some more. And I said, well, technically, I never lost it. I didn't lose, you know. I just didn't show up. So, um, no, it's nice to win. It's always nice to win this tournament. Um, great event, great people, um, and I always enjoy coming. That win gives Kane a nice little paycheck as he earned just under $18,000 for the title.